Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Bros Game Night. I am your host, Older Bro. I'm your other host, Younger Bro. And today we continue in Pokemon Ranger. Where we're in the menu, just showing off all the things in the menu. So obviously we have our uh, options. These are the same options that I messed with at the beginning. We've got our map. You can see Ringtown. Can't actually put my arrow on this, but you can see Ringtown, which is where we are at. Springtown. Yes, Springtown. That is it. So that's the only part of the map we can see, and we can't mess with the map at all. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. Mission. Capture Larry's Pokemon. He did not tell us what Pokemon we're capturing. Yeah, that would have been nice to know. Yep. Here we have Release, so we can get some Pokemon and release them. Can you have more than four Pokemon? Nope. Not right now. I, I was going to ask if we can explain that later. I think so. Uh, here's the glossary that he was talking about earlier. We will not look at that. Here's the browser. This is the deck. This is the Pokedex. Okay, if I touch it. So, yeah. That yeah, minum's in there somewhere. Yep. Uh, and there's a quick save. So, that's everything. Yeah, Let's we don't out of here. know if we're 100%ing the game. Probably not. Probably just gonna be the story. Got other houses here. Oh, hey, we got a good zigzagoon here. We've got a, uh, uh, Hoenn zigzagoon. Yes. Go! The secret behind my good health is my daily walk with Pokemon. Living. I like how their, their name just disappears with the next oh, yeah. line. Living with my little friend, it feels like I get to share its vitality. Vitality. Yeah, your little friend, which is a uh, raccoon. Bark. Did you know? This is Springtown, but this whole region includes cities, mountains, the sea, and everything. It's called Fire. Did you know this, Ben? There are lots of Pokemon living in the Fire region. You really knew that? Yes, dude. I was aware. Springtown's nestled in nature. It has a lot to offer. I love this town where people and Pokemon live happily side by side. <coughs> Got this house here, which just has people in it. Mommy, can you tell me what does a Pokemon trainer do? I know what a Pokemon ranger does. Pokemon trainers. Dear trainers are people who capture Pokemon using something called Pokeballs. Like rangers, trainers are very protective of Pokemon. Hmm. That's too bad, but there are no trainers in the Fire region. There are many, many trainers in far off places like Kanto and Hoenn. Mommy wanted to be a trainer a long time ago, so I'm a bit of an expert. Yeah, I can't remember where the Fire region is. If I remember correctly, I think Fire might be in the U.S. I'm not certain. Uh. Come on, door. Uh, like Larry's, Larry's daughter. daughter. Now, where has my father gone this time? Oh yeah, so we can definitely have seven partners because the right. the menu goes out seven. Not a day goes by without him raising a big commotion about how his beloved Pokemon ran away. Has he considered getting a, a white picket fence to go around his <laughs> house to, you know, keep the, I mean, it's a po the Pokemon inside? Okay. Have you considered getting a magic proof fence <laughs> that can keep his Pokemon inside? His lunch is ready, too. Yeah. This game is not good with doors. I should probably go into his first house that we skipped. Pokemon react differently when they encounter people. Some get startled and run away. Others turn aggressive and attack. You should observe how different Pokemon react. Yep, thanks, tutorial NPC. Yep, thank you, thank you. Not going to the blue house. Already went to the blue house. Oh. That was Mommy Mommy. Right. Hulking guy. I don't recognize your face, so what do you call yourself? Ah, forget it. It's pointless to hear your name. 
You're just a ranger passing through or something, right? Where's your morpher? Ugh, I wish I could just bolt from this sleepy, boring town anyway. So leave. Pass right there. Yeah. Is he brushing his teeth? Welcome to the Grassland Challenge. The rainy top score is 5,000 points. What? It looks like he's brushing his teeth. Yo, yo, yo. Hop on to our do duo and join our capture challenge, yo. Yeah, I know I said it, but we're actually not quite set up yet. Sorry, come again, will you? I believe this is the girl. <clears throat> Older bro, wait. Yep. Older bro, are you feeling nervous on your very first mission? Maybe. Don't worry, I'll be accompanying you. Yeah, I should have played Solana. It's gonna be our first date. I definitely should have played Solana. <laughs> I think you'll be fun, so I'll tag along. I'll see if I if I change my mind and restart the game and uh, <laughs> play up at this point with Solana. <sighs> I'm thinking about older girls so much. Why am I doing that? Don't fear failure. Okay, ready to be in your rookie mission? Your mission is to capture Larry's Pokemon, which has fled some to somewhere inside the Give Larry us forest. a description! You are required to return the capture Pokemon to Larry, who will be waiting here. This really shouldn't be an especially challenging mission. I mean, we literally do this once a day. Did we ever click on Fossil? We should probably do that. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Larry, by the way, what was the Pokemon? Thank you! It, it, it was a, you know, um... Larry, we, you only have one Pokemon. It's on the tip of my tongue, you know it's a... Uh, I'm just too upset right now, I can't remember what you got. You're always upset. How the hell do you not know what your own Pokemon is? It's powerful and yet classy, it might appear to have a sleek... Slinky. Slinky look to it, but it's, it's also chunky. Clunky. Clunky. Well, I'm trying to say it's a, a, a Pokemon. That's what it is. No shit. Uh. No, no, no. I'm this being guy's damaged stupid. by. I'm being damaged by Larry's idiocy. That's not much of a hint to go on. Well, do you get what kind of Pokemon Larry means? I'll go with you. So if there's anything you don't understand, you can always ask me. I don't think you should pay much attention to Larry's description. No. There's Bustle. Bustle. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure it's not Chikorita, but we'll try it anyways. It's a wild uh, starter. Shoot. What? Okay, 16 is the highest. Good capture. I can tell the Pokemon came to accept your friendly feelings. We have Chikori. Oh, hello, Ranger. I've never seen you before. Styler on your belt looks and shiny and new, too. Styling. <laughs> shiny and new. So, capture, capture on. on! That is cool. <laughs> Capture cool. on! Capture on! Capture on! Capture off! <clears throat> the capture! It's a wild zigzagoon. So 16's max? Ooh. I think it's dependent on the pulse. So it's 16 for this one. Or 8 for this one. 16 for Chicory. Sorry, 9 for this one. Yeah, we gonna get max on all the Pokemon. Mm, probably not. That's not the way. Well, there ain't that many other Pokemon. Like, yeah. Zigzagoon is just freaking the hell out. What do you mean that's 
not the way. There's no other Pokemon, unless it's in the grass. There's a new Pokemon. Tail! Tail! It's someone's tail, though. Okay, well, that answers the question. I can never remember if I prefer... I think I prefer going this way, but I also break more off this way. Get your butt back here. Do you have to get a perfect score on every Pokemon? No. I think you actually don't have to get, like... I don't even think it tracks that. Hmm. I, I thought the third game did. Later games, I think, do, but this game doesn't... Tra I don't think it tracks, like, perfect scores or anything. It's just you captured or you don't. Good job. Taylor is Larry's missing Pokemon. I'm sorry. I actually knew, but I kind of kept quiet about it. Want to see how you would deal with the situation. I want to see if you have the drive and tenacity to solve a problem, even though he had very little information. You have passed the flying colors. All right, let's take the Pokemon back to Larry. Yes, yeah, Zigzag just freaks out, and goes everywhere. Oh, oh my darling Taylor. Ow. Well, uh, I'll be darn. Good going, Ranger. It, it just goes to show your leader knows talent when he sees it. Hey, Larry. Can you please keep Tail inside? I'm real sorry for giving you grief earlier. Thank, thank you so much. You did it. Congratulations. Actually, do you want to know about my recognition? I also had to go look for Larry's missing tail. Congratulations. You cleared your rookie mission. You have now joined the ranks of Pokemon Rangers in name and in deed. Uh, this one was you. Later, I hope there are some trees on fire. What? That's an unexpected turn of events. Get ready to fight a fire. Yep, they're on fire. In a situation like this, we'll have to do something called target clearing. Target clearing is the process of solving a Pokemon problem using the abilities of captured Pokemon. I'll explain using these burning trees. Touch the target, in this case a tree on fire. Need water. When you touch the target, its information is shown on the top screen. When it says required field move, you should see the water icon. This icon indicates a water type field move is needed. In other words, if there's a water, the fire can be extinguished, thus solving our problem. In our case, we need a Pokemon that has the same icon as water. I'll go find a Pokemon that can use the required water field move. Our leader, our leader is incredibly fast at capturing. Oh look, he's already back. This Mudkip is a Pokemon that can control water. Be sure, touch the Mudkip. Yep. We've confirmed that its field move is water. What does that mean? If the target and this Pokemon have the identical field move, it means the target can be cleared by the Pokemon. Watch closely. I'll demonstrate how this fire can be extinguished. Touch the Pokemon. Draw a line to the target. Get help. Yes. When it says this, say yes. Thank you, Mudkip. Now it's your turn. That's how you clear turn. And you can only use it on one object. Extinguish the other burning tree. You can only use it on one object, right? Yeah. One, uh, one object per part. Damn. Not bad. Some Pokemon get really bad. I'm guessing legendaries are pretty bad. Oh, hey, more like that. Another Mudkip. Oh, now we have two Mudkip. Be prepared for another fire. Just in case. Thank you, Mudkip. That literally was a trial by fire, but you clear the challenge. Woohoo! A literal trial by fire, because there was literally fire. 
Thank you, Pokemon Ranger. I, um, I was going to say, but I couldn't. It's my fault those trees caught fire. I was pretending to be a ranger and trying to catch a Pokemon. I startled it and it breathed fire and the trees caught fire and, uh, I'm sorry. I'll try to learn more about Pokemon and respect their feelings. I'm really, really sorry. Well said. That took guts. Don't forget what you said. Ever. Alright, let's head back to our ranger base. Would you like to record your activities? Yes. Sir. You can literally see it's still moving the characters in the cutscene. It is. Like, because the screen isn't as dark as the original, so there goes Plusle. It's walking off. I think it's only on our screen. It doesn't look like it can oh. be seen on the top screen. Your work on the rookie mission was pretty impressive. To be honest, I didn't think you would do as well as you did. Keep it up. Solana, OB, I want you to patrol Ringtown until a new mission comes up. If anything happens, let me know immediately. Understood? Roger. A ranger's job isn't only about doing missions. Patrolling the city is just one of the important roles we fill. Let's hit the streets and hear what our citizens have to say. It's time for the word on the streets. Now this is kind of acting like boss fighters where you can go do your own thing for a little while and then come back and do the mission. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? That was a Pokemon cry. Yep, so it was. And it sounds awfully familiar. It came from over there. Damn it, Larry. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, my darling Taylor. Calm down, please. Calm down, my precious Taylor. That Minum's being chased by a Taylor. Wait, that's Larry's Taylor. Uh, who cares? We've got to save that Minum. <laughs> I like how it's. Oh no. Like, we have to save that Minum from Larry's Taylor. It's so terrible. We have to capture the, the Taylor and get it to calm down again. Again. It's Larry's Taylor. Oh, game. Hold bro, look. Look at the Minum. The Taylor shocked. It can't move. Hold bro, there's your chance. Capture the Taylor and calm it down. Literally a sitting duck and can't do it. It's stationary. <laughs> nope. Keep right into it. That's gonna be useful. You did it, older bro. Well, if it isn't older bro, you captured my darling Dalo again. I owe you big things. Larry, can you tell me something? Why was your Taylor chasing the minum? Well, this is what happened. When my darling Taylor came back, I was beside myself. I was so happy. So I was happily petting my precious one over and over I think that little minum became jealous of how my darling was getting all my attention so it started bugging my precious Taylor my Taylor tried to ignore it for a while but the minum was so persistent my darling finally became ferocious I see minum you'd better apologize to this Taylor properly minum that mine him. Maybe it's loathsome. That's just the feeling I get anyway. Darling Taylor, let's forgive that little mine him and go home, okay? Hey -ow. Mine him! Bye bye! Larry already said it, but maybe the spine him is feeling lonely. Look how much it's taking to you already, older bro. It wants to be babied. <laughs> also, since I have a plus and you have a minor. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll take this Uwulu. Oh. Minum's da data was registered. Minum's data. Hold it, bro. Can you maybe know? Did you maybe? Did you maybe know this little guy from before? Can you tell me about it? Is that right? This is literally the only game where I'm able to actually just hold on to something while playing the game, because it's a one-handed game. You saw it in the Fall City's Harbor. 
It was in a fight with a houndoom right in the town, and then it clung to your leg, so you had to bring it to Springtown, older bro. Wow, I guess a lot happened in a short time. Yep. Oh, I know. Older bro, you don't have a partner in Pokemon yet, do you? I think this Minum would make a perfect partner for you because you can't choose. I guarantee it. Minum is your partner. Remember, guys, it is not my num, it's my nun. My nun. It ends in an N. My nun. That settled then. Lucky you, my nun. From now on, you and Older Bro are officially partners. Let's get back to patrolling, my nun. You're with us now. And off we go. That's the same thing. Oh no, that's not the same thing. Hold on. In the Fire Region, Pokemon come in different groups. Did you know this? There are 17 different groups of Pokemon. Did you know this? Did you hear about this? Did you really know that? What? You're saying there's an 18th group? No, that sounds completely insane. Oh, aren't you a lovely couple? <laughs> already! Are you an item already? Or is one of you about to ask the other out? Or perhaps you're just a pair of rangers out on patrol. All of these could be How true. How sad. I knew right from the start I couldn't help teasing you. Hmm. Walk north from here and you'll get to the Lyra Forest. Go to the east and you're at the Kisara Plain. What am I? A signpost? Yep. I guess we can go talk to this guy, see if he's uh, set up. Nope. Okay. You're on a nice stroll with your partner, Pokemon, are you? The only Pokemon that you can freely take to other towns, that would be your partner. Yes, it's possible to become accompanied by the wild Pokemon you've captured. However, you are forbidden to take wild Pokemon out of their natural habitats. After all, that is how you help maintain the delicate balance of nature. And how we make the game hard by not allowing you to go to a, a region with water types, take a water type, and go back to a place with fire. That said, it's an entirely different story when it comes to an expert ranger. Such a ranger will have gained experience of every sort that will prevent problems with Pokemon in unfamiliar places. Sure. Try to leave him. Nope. Where are you going? Okay, we do literally just have to talk to every single person. The climate is always like, like springtime in Springtown. It's very pleasant to live in, but it also makes me drowsy for a nap. Yawn. Mm. Yeah. What's my favorite Pokemon, can you guess? Pikachu, because it's so adorable. I, mean, I do have a Pikachu plush, but I'd have to go and like walk across the room and get it. That's like super huge. Pika, Pika, Pika. Yeah, it's probably unfair to Pokemon where it's like, which Pokemon plushes do you have? You ha have one Uwulu. You have one, uh, uh, Eevee, you have one Caldeo, you have one Veneri, and you have eight Pikachus. Like, yep. Pika! I mean, it is the, the uh, mascot. Okay, let's try going back into the booth. We cannot. Oh, no, yes, we can. Reporting back from patrol leader. Welcome back to both. Oh, which mine is that? Yes, as if there's a different mine. Could it be the same mine that tagged along with us from Fall City? Well, obviously, there's no mine in this ecosystem. That's right, it is. We happened to come across it while we were on patrol. We know that this mine can be mischievous. It's gotten into trouble because of it. But it doesn't seem to have forgotten how Older Bro came to its rescue. Leader, I'd better explain. There is no need to explain. I can see it with my own eyes. He has chosen that partner, or that mining as his partner, right? I can see that they made a decent combination of it. 
combination, you mean connection? Sure, same thing. I should explain what a partner Pokemon is. Every ranger is permitted to keep a single Pokemon as their partner. The partner has to be a special one that has connected emotionally with their ranger, as if they were close friends. Partner Pokemon aren't just there for their cute appeal, they are expected to help their rangers when necessary. I hope your mind and goes, grows into a supportive partner Pokemon. Yeah. I'll teach you about Minum special ability. You see, my Plusle is the same type as yours, so I'm familiar with it. No, it's the same Pokemon as yours. If you want to borrow your partner Pokemon's power, it needs one thing. Your partner Pokemon needs to use partner energy. I swear if it says if you touch your Pokemon enough, it'll have enough energy to... Touch. You gain partner energy by drawing loops around Pokemon during captures. Thank the Lord. This is partner energy. Every time you draw a loop around a target Pokemon, you add to the partner energy on the partner gauge. I'll draw loops around a Pokemon. Watch how the partner gauge fills up. It's a little bit harder to see because you've taken it off screen. Yeah. You see, the partner energy is filling up. When the gauge fills up, you're all set to go. To borrow minus power. Touch. The bottom right. Hey, we still have the mud gift. Yep. Did you see? This is where you choose which Pokemon, either your partner or a captured friend, you want to use. I feel like they should have just gotten rid of these hyphens and say, "This is where you choose which Pokemon you want to use, either your partner or a captured friend." Touch. Any of the Pokemon on the screen. It's data and descriptions of its power are shown on both screens. Okay, assist. So once you've chosen a partner Pokemon, in our example, your partner... Touch. The poke key assist button. Yep. That Minum... Sorry. That makes your Minum use its power to help you make the capture. Yeah, this is why you want to capture other Pokemon guys, not just ones you might necessarily need. Do you understand how to use your partner Pokemon's power? Yes. Would you like me to explain it again? No. It's very reassuring to have a partner Pokemon along to help with your captures. It really helps with my confidence. Leader, if there are any new missions, we could go out and patrol again. Let's see, there's nothing that really demands immediate action. Okay, Solana, you do that. You can go patrol the Lyre Forest. Over. Roger. Overdrive, accelerate. You know, I'm burning with ambition again. I'm going to work that much harder knowing that I have a new go-getter of a rival at our Pokemon. No, Team Go-Getters is a different game. That's Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Oh, unfounded hall. Sorry, confounded hall. I became disoriented in that wretched liar for shit again. Oh, but that's beside the point. Spence a long time, no see. I trust that you've been well. Oh, now who might this be? That unfamiliar youngster is the rookie ranger you've been telling me about. It's good to see you again, Professor Hastings. As your guest, here is our new rookie, Hope Obi. Now, uh, hold on. This is not a real professor. Because as far as I'm aware, Hastings is not a tree. Nope. Ah, uh, bonjour. Hello. Hello. That, it's not, <laughs> it's not Iono <laughs> either. Hola, bro. I'm Hastings. Glad to meet you. There's no need to be... Formal with me, you can just call me Professor if you'd like. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Incidentally, Professor, I want to speak to you about the new stylus you left with us recently. I think you called it the Super Style. It lives up to its name, it's really quite astounding. But it also worries me, too, if one were to ever fall into the hands of criminals. You worry needlessly, my I good friend. I don't believe that we uh, worry needlessly. 
The Super Styler's existence is known only to the Ranger leaders of the four Ranger bases. Oops, I w was rather right, wasn't I? But no matter, that Super Styler is merely a prototype. Incidentally, Spencer, this is strictly between us, but I had a flash of inspiration. I have an idea that will power up the Super Styler. So yeah, I can definitely confirm that, tr that hasting is not a treat. I couldn't wait to share this idea with you, so I took the long journey all the way from Fall City on foot. Yes, you did. So the brilliant idea I have. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Um, yeah, Professor, hold on a second. Uh, hey, can you do me a favor? Uh, go upstairs and check on my food. That'll be, that'll be good. You go do that. Okay, we are at time. Yes, we are. So, we are going to stop here and come back next time with even more of Pokemon Ranger. Until then, the future is very uncertain. What is certain is you guys are awesome, and there'll be more Two Bros Game Night tomorrow. See you then. Goodbye.